Shut up, you don't think Ryan is famous? Cousin Ryan. You gotta... Hey, what's up, YouTube friends and family? It's Cousin Ryan, and I had just, a few days ago, unboxed the Kenner slash Hasbro re-release of the real Ghostbusters Ecto-1. And EDF Central, you asked me a question about uh, if I had tried swapping the parts, because I would mentioned using maybe some of the parts off of this in the rest restoration process of my Ecto-1A, and I hadn't. I had looked at it to eyeball these. I thought, they're close, but... You know what they're not close i mean they are close but i've noticed some differences that make me think uh that the parts aren't as interchangeable as they would look on the surface so i thought we'd just do a quick little video to really look at the differences because to hold them up next to each other obviously this one's weather beaten and yellowed and old and dirty and uh it's seen better days aside from that though to look at them there's no difference. I mean, it's the same toy, right? But, but not. They're not. So, like I said, I thought we'd take a closer look at it, and we'll uh, we'll head over to the workbench and uh, check it out. First, we'll take a look at the hood here, and you can see on the original one there are these like mold seams, and they're not there on uh, the new one. You can see some seams here. And, and right, whoops, sorry, right there. Uh, those are not on this one. Excuse my hands, they're a little bit greasy. I've been working on my car today. Uh, you can see there are some seams there that don't exist up there. And if you can take a look, all of the details on the top look so similar, but there are differences in the shapes. I mean, everything is there. Um, for example, look at how crisp and square those are, and they're a little bit more uh, soft and round right there. Um, there's an extra little, you know, round disc underneath the bump on that. I don't know what the staple was. I know that was there when I put it there when I was a kid to hold something on the top there. I have no idea what that was for anymore now at this point, but um, you can look up here, the little where that hose goes into the box, that grommet, I guess is what it's supposed to be, is much larger than the one that was on there. Everything is there. The hoses, these little hoses here are much larger than they are on this one. So clearly the body is different. I'll show you, I took the door off of the new one and tried to put it on here and it just does not fit. Likewise, you can see how much smaller the door is there. Now I don't think, I don't think this has shrunk. I don't think plastic like that would shrink over time. I mean, maybe, I don't know. Um, let's see, if you look inside the car here, you can see the dashboard is all blue. Oh, there's a little 3D printed piece that I had purchased. Uh, that's part of the kit I bought for restoring this from uh, Flynn's Arcade on Facebook. Pretty cool. The sniffer. Um, open, the, open the door here. And you can see, let's get in there. The dashboard is black. The details in it are black. Um, let's go ahead and flip the cars over. Just wanted to look real quick actually before we the fins look pretty similar so on the bottom here I don't know if you'll be able to read it it says 1984 Columbia Pictures made in Mexico the new one has a lot more writing on it oh it's upside down uh, Hasbro yeah, I'm going to turn around. Sorry. I'm not as good at reading upside down as I thought I was. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get the light right in there. Hasbro, represented by Hasbro. Amsterdam, Netherlands. Pawtucket, Rhode Island. 2021 Columbia Pictures Industries, all rights reserved. Made in China. So there you go. Turn this back around. You can see the ratcheting mechanism on this old one. You know, you could pull the, the cord out with a little ghost grabbing claw, and as you rolled along, you could engage 
engage the ratchet with this and it would drag that cord in and it would pull the ghost into the back of the car. All of that's exposed on here. On this one, it's all enclosed. It still has the same, you know, mechanism with the exhaust, but it's much more hidden. And of course, if you notice, the string is white instead of black. Now, just like with the top of the car, all of the details are pretty much the same, except when you look, I mean, they're in the same places. Everything looks the same, but it's not. Um, the shapes are slightly either larger or different shaped, more pronounced. I mean, this is a perfect example on the X-pipe, on the exhaust right here. You can see the difference in the circles. Um, the rivets on the transmission mount, you can see they're much larger on here on the new one than they are on the old one. Same with the bolts on the uh, on the bottom of the transmission there. Everything's just a little bit larger and more pronounced on the new model, on the new mold. Um, yeah, I'm sure I'm not the most observant person at times. Actually, I'm never the most observant, so there's probably far more uh, greater differences that I'm not seeing. So is there anything you guys have noticed that I may have missed? Um, you can look at the door jam seams there and you can see they're much more pronounced on the newer one as well. Um, the fender skirts there. And everything. Let's look at the back of the car. We haven't really looked at the back of the car yet. So let's see what we got. Um, yeah. Not sure. Again. The little vents here look a little, the detailing on them is a little bit softer, but I mean, it's just so close. I just don't know. Now, I'm going to tell you guys a little inside secret. This uh, Ecto-1A was up in my treehouse for years. The treehouse at my parents' house, uh, we ended up sealing it off and had a whole bunch of toys stored in it. And I think just the temperature is what yellowed this the up and down temperature just kind of yellowed the plastic the back door is honest to god the same back door off of this car but it had been taken off and it was in a box of like ninja turtles or something that i had in my parents shed and the temperature must have been a little more stable in there because the plastic never yellowed oh i'm just kind of looking here at the back yeah it's just so stinking close but you know just just a little bit different just a little bit different Okay, again, if you guys noticed anything that I didn't, please point it out, let me know down in the comments, and thanks for hanging out. And uh, yeah, EDF Central, thank you so much for asking that question. That was something I didn't even, didn't even think about. So clearly these doors aren't interchangeable on here, and I would assume that maybe these lights are not. I'm looking for, oh, here we go. Why didn't I think of this? Let's just real quick. Oh man, I need one extra set of hands here. Swim. Whoops. Sorry, I'm screwing with the tape measure here. Let's look here at the top of the light bar. What is that? About a half an inch across on the top. And I would almost say that's just slightly, that is over a half an inch. Now that's slightly over half an inch too. Let's look at that. Yeah, those are pretty close. I don't know. That might be one of those things we just have to try out and see if they would fit or not. It's close enough. It is close enough that I think a trial fit. If somebody was going to try and swap these plastic parts out with these, that might just have to be a trial run, and I'm sure there's a way of making them fit. Okay. Um, thanks for hanging out, and until next time, be excellent to each other.
You know, sir, it's cousin Ryan on the Hollywood Boulevard. You know, sir, he's bigger than any superstar. All of us spit you some, some real to a bar. Some of them sweeter than any chocolate bar. Boom! Hey.